got a piece of wood I found this last summer I haven't got a clue what it is not particularly the best wood very very open grained but I'm not going to waste it um, I I made it round um, yeah I made it round and uh, took all the bark off and everything um, last summer as I say I treated the ends I have got a couple of little splits here and there but they should be okay um, and now I've, it's, it's dry enough now for turning so there's no problems um, I think I'll make a little bird house with it for the garden so let's get it on the lathe anyway and get started with this little bird house okay so we're at the lathe um, I've got this into the chuck at this end and the live centre at this end um, the first thing I'm going to do it's a bit lumpy and bumpy so I'm just going to take a nice pass a few passes over it and just um, level it out with the spindle rough and gouge uh, and then I may come down to this back end and clean all this up and put a, a new tenon on ready for when it gets cut off well as you can see that is quite out of true now so I'll keep on um, taking shavings off it until we get it more back into true That's the tenon on the end for when we want it later. Bring this down to that size. I've got that nice with the skew now and uh, I'm just starting to turn this back over, this is the roof. We can't take the roof all the way to its point because we have to hollow this out and so we need to leave the meat back here. But we'll just carry on, it's got a rough shape for now and then um, it'll make it easier later. slightly smaller gouge for coming in next to these uh, I don't want to bang the jaws we'll just swap back now that I'm away So 
So you can start to see now how the roof is the roof is developing from the bed house. Right. Um I'm not gonna go any further on that part because I want the bulk up here for when I hollow out. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I quick clean up first and then I'll put the marks on. There's the entry hole and my hole for the perch. So the next thing we can do now is um, start to wallow it out. I've got a 22mm um, Morse taper drill bit in the tail stock <coughs> and I've turned the lathe speed down to about 550. So we're just going to run this through <coughs> to make an hole so I can hollow it out. Make sure everything's locked down. Okay, that should be a better camera angle. And what we're going to do now is I'm just going to start pulling it back as much as I can and then um, we'll get the um, hollowing tool out later on. At the moment I'm just going to use this uh, gouge. Yeah, that's okay. I just wanted a little shear scraping and we're fine. <coughs> so, where's it gone? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this now, this, state, this rests on the flat, so I'm going to now put it into the Shear scraping mode Am I going to run through with it like that now? So See how we do Okay, well that's the hollow one done. Um, <coughs> I think you can see where we're going now. The next stage is um, <coughs> after I'm happy finishing off all these bits, um, I might shape the roof slightly a bit more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in back into the jaws on this ring that I've left here. Uh, to hold it actually I might I might take that off and put it into expansion mode 
and hold it that way but we'll see so you can see where we're going let me get cleaned up and ready for the next stage and we'll come back right so I've got this on the lathe now and I'm um, ready to start throwing it up That's okay. Right. I can see that I am concave, so well, you know, we'll just put that on anyway. So that's gonna sit nicely. Um I'm not gonna bother uh sort of putting patterns underneath this. It's it is what it is, it's just a bird house. But um I'll just do a little bit of sanding and uh, we'll go back to the bench after that. So I'll see you back at the bench while I just uh, sand this off a little bit. That's the piece we've just been working on. Um, just give it a light sanding for now. And that is going to go into there. Um, got plenty of uh, areas for glue inside that now. Because my original idea was I might hold it from the bottom while I, I take care of this top. But uh, now, all I'm going to do is put this in expansion mode and do the uh, the roof. So let's go and do that. Well, this is in expansion mode now. I've got it on the end, and um, I've got the uh, tailstock up. It's not running through. It's down here, is way out. So that uh, won't really matter. I've got it the best I can at the moment. But I am going to just take light cuts until it comes back into through. At that point, I've got my little uh, bead on top, so if we want to put it on a piece of string you can hold it by that. So um, what I'm going to do now is um, I want to take it off here, part it off, um, and then uh, I'll get it, uh, I'll, I'll give this a sanding, and then I'll get it all glued up. Okay, I've finished sanding it now. Um, it's it's nice and smooth. I um, took it through the grits with the sanding uh, gadget, and um, I took it through. It's it, it's it's nice now. I don't know what finish um, I'm going to use yet. I might use a uh, boiling seed oil, or I might use Danish oil. Um, but I'll worry about that to, tomorrow. The next thing I'm going to do now is um, get it glued up. So I've got a piece of dowel 
and the piece of dowel is going to go in like so obviously I'll cut it down and then I'll glue it from the inside so that will be there um, and then I'll glue the base on so it can either stand up or it can hang from the uh, bead on the top so I'll get it glued up once it's glued up I'll uh, polish it up and we'll come back and show you the finished project okay that's it uh, that's the end of the project um, I don't think it came out too bad it, uh, you've seen the state of the, the piece of wood when I uh, started it so a nice little project in the end I finished it with uh, baby oil Johnson's but uh, yeah it's okay it's, uh, it can stand up or you can hold it by the bobble with a piece of string and a piece of rope it was a nice little project I've actually seen this being done whereas the this base piece they actually insert it inside and they put uh, two screws so they can take it out to clean them I never bother I just normally glue them in but uh, yeah there it is I will take a couple of um, still photographs and I'll put them up the end that's about it really don't forget the uh, UK and Ireland wood turning symposium is creeping up on us and there'll be links down below for where you can go for all the information for that so until next time as I always say work safe and I'll see you soon bye for now mm -hmm.